Hi there! Welcome to the third episode of my Lone Wolf series for Going Medieval. I'm Icon and today I think we will see the end of this winter. Our good friend Forthred is now down to his last few rations. We really don't have much food left. We only have a few bits of roasted meat. We also have rotten meat piles and well there is really nothing on this map which we could eat at this point anymore but also there's the spring really soon on us so hopefully we'll just find something which we can't hunt also i have learned a really cool new trick and that's if you or at least somebody said that if you go on the lowest level of your grid you see animals moving on top of it but since I don't see anything, there's probably no animals. I have to try retry that once I have some animals actually on the map. Okay, I would prefer a wildlife tab, but, you know, it seems like we can't have everything. What I do want to have, though, are extra buildings when the springtime is nigh to finally get some production going here. Because at this very moment, I feel like our good friend Forthred is living a little bit of a bleak life. Well, the temperatures are slowly climbing outside there, so I could actually already consider a room. Let's do that. So, I kind of like already decided that this will be my food storage here, so let's not, uh, let's not bother with that. So that also means my next uh, house that I built doesn't need a doesn't need a cellar, so we can just uh, build a regular house. Okay, this is going to be a workshop house, so I'm not going to make it uh, multi-story or something like that. Just something simple. A multi-story building is not necessary at this point. I just want to have. A room where I can fix up things that I need. So we're going to make a wicker roof because this way I can get rid of all the sticks that I got. Not enough allowed resources. Well that doesn't mean, uh, matter at this point. Can't I put down... Hmm. Shouldn't I be able to put down the blueprints for that before it's finished? Did I make the room too large? Probably. I know that roofing has its limits in this game. But I don't know, maybe... Maybe I can only place the roof once the building is done, but I'm not used to this. Well, whatever. We're going to find out. For now, I don't have enough wood anyways. Just trying to get uh, the rest of the winter around. Scroll upwards to be able to select the trees. I really don't like that feature. I hope this gets fixed at some point. I want to be able to click my trees whenever and wherever I want to. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure that the food we got here back at home will be sufficient for the end of the winter. Because I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure that as soon as the temperatures grow better, animals will come back into this uh, area here. Or stuff will grow quick enough before I starve. I mean, there's still one serving of roasted meat, and there's still raw meat, so this will definitely bring us over the next day. Decaying because of temperature. How warm is it in there? Five degree, okay. Too warm to store food in, obviously. So we're going to dig out our undergrounds, our underground area here right now, while we're at it. Settlers are idle. Okay. We're working on that. Fourth rid, we're working on that. So there we go. 
right into the mountain and dig out a little room here. And of course, it also needs a door. Grated door. Hmm. I wish I could afford that, but obviously not. Also, it doesn't seem like I can't place down that work order before it's all mined out. Anywho, this will work, uh, this will help us a lot. Still not enough wood? Find that hard to believe. So let's try something. How bad will Forthrit be if he has to eat rotten meat, I wonder? Consume. Does that bring any health issues? It did make him unhappy. There's no wounds or anything. Ate something rotten. He hates me for a couple of hours for that. But beyond that, we can also eat the rotten food. So... Let's see if that debuff stacks. It's also not really filling. Yeah, and it stacks quite nastily, I see. Okay. But look at that, the snow is disappearing. Oh, this is looking beautiful actually. The passing of seasons is really looking pleasant. Oh, spring has come. I hope with the spring also animals come that we can eat, but one thing at a time. The shrubs should be growing now again. Red currant shrub is bringing yield in two days. Okay. Let's see. But. One thing's for sure, Forthred did survive the winter. Yes, he did. Oh, wait a sec. 16 wood is really not much. 36 wood is not much either. Ah, here. This one is better. Okay. So, our man is now digging out his cellar. And now I should be able to put a door into, uh, in there. There we go. It's quite important for me. Plant reaping mishandled. Oh yeah, this is the this is in this game you can botch botch up your uh, botany role, and then you go don't get anything for a chop tree. I really think that's something that needs to be changed. Because that feels rather nonsensical to me. Don't know how you guys see that, but... If you chop a tree, you chop a tree. And there's no way in, on Earth that this chopped tree won't yield anything. Not even twigs. No, no. But early access is early access. Still need food. <laughs> I only got a couple of scraps here, and uh, there's another wolf. Okay, wonderful. So we we can cheese that wolf. Okay, fourth red. Operation Cheesy Wolf begins. Initiate Operation Cheesy Wolf. I hope it's pretty long. Uh, it's a pretty long run. Maybe I'll get punished for that. So let's uh, save the game. Save the game. I, I'm afraid, okay. The wolf is running away now. And now we hit him, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So now our next task is to run away from the wolf. All right, this is so stupid. I mean, partially I love it, honestly. I love such cheese like that. It's premium extra cheese. Trap misfire. 
What are these crappy traps? Slam the door and the wolf forgets that you were attacking him, I love it. Take this wolf. I'm not even here. Take that wolf. Oh man, this poor thing. So I'd say we're going to take our spear now and stab it. Hooray! Lunch! Uh, I mean, I mean dinner! It's 5 p.m., you know. Oh no. It's one of these situations again. Hunting is effing hard in this game. Boom! He did it! Don't cry, wolf. What kind of achievement was that? Yo, fourth root, you are supposed to keep that. So, fourth root's stance should be aggressive. Running away is of no use for us in the shorter uh, in a shorter run. Okay, good stuff. This will secure our survival for quite some time. Okay, now with the beginning of spring, I think I'm going to go for some agriculture as well. Because that will be a lot easier to sustain in a longer time frame. Can I actually do this already? No. So, I wanted to research tailoring, didn't I? There we go. So from now on, it's time to to invite new people into the into this place. So it seems like these stick traps are only good if used in numbers. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. Okay, so fourth rib, it's time to chop some more trees, my man. Hope you're not going to mishandle them again. <laughs> so, spring arrived in Kidderminster. It's the perfect time to sow crops. I know. So, let's see. Now I can place down the roof. Really hope that this gets changed in the future, that you can actually place down the roofs before the building is done, because this is a little bit uh, uncomfortable. Okay, so we're going to disable the, the clay brazier now, because we don't really need it anymore. Okay, there we go. The workshop is getting done. Spring. Fun. By the way, fourth rid. Wait, wait a sec. Deconstructing campfire? What happened to my campfire? That's odd. Can't remember uh, putting it onto deconstruction. My man, cook yourself something. You don't like to eat raw meat. I know that you don't. See? Told you. Okay. Spare room. The sheer amounts I need of resources here. The sewing station wants to have 80 pieces of wood here again. This is quite a lot, you know. So, my man. Okay, he's gathering stuff here. Okay, okay. Picking up some of those sticks just to have a few in the near future. And look at that. The berries are growing again. Wonderful. 
Okay, so food won't be any issue in the next time. The only issue we got will be to dig out the cellar. So are we now cooking proper meals? I mean, we had roasted meat here. Roasted meat, still. Okay, whatever. I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be roasted meat once we're done, once we're uh, cooking with berries only, but... So... Okay, fourth root is supposed to mine here at some point. But in the springtime, a underground storage for food ain't that important. What is important is that we have enough stockpiles for the winter. So... But since spring just started, I don't need to be that angsty about the next winter. But you know what you say? After the winter is before the winter. I think the next most important thing will be to acquire a new pair of hands. I'm really sad that I had to send away this first person trying to join us. But I really don't don't know how I would have been able to keep her alive. Our food stocks barely were enough for Forthrid to begin with, so I think I made the right decision sending her away. Although it still hurts that we are now still alone, and things would be a lot easier if I already had another uh, another settler here. Especially doing research would be a lot easier because basically right now I can't research as I want to But that's not really that much of an issue. There's so much red current here uh, growing and That stuff is growing really fast Can harvest those bushes today. Oh heavy rain Okay Fourth red playing backgammon with himself here All right, what kind of clothing does he wear right now, actually? Flimsy linen winter clothes, I see. Well, and that's the reason why I want to have a sewing table. I built my home on coal. I had no clue. Okay, more tree chopping it is. My god. The sheer amounts of wood necessary in this game are insane. But I mean, realistically, that's how I'd, how medieval construction was. Tons of wood or tons of stone. Or both. Okay, so these are now ripened. Hunger comes calling. When Teethic arrived, his bones were prominent and his hair fell out in clumps. Of course we will keep him, him, keep him in. So, caring builder. Carpentry and tailoring. Okay. Can't understand the perks yet, but... Teethic, welcome. I want to check out your perks though. It's that mm, hard to work and harder to befriend. Okay. So he's good at animal handling. Welcome, Teothic. We're going to build T uh, Teo a a bed in the in the workshop. Feel like that's a good thing. Settlers are starving. Yeah, dude. Have some food. It's not going to be a, a big issue here for us. So, harvesting. And let's go for the jobs of Teothic. I want him to go for the carpentry and the tailoring. I basically got myself a good crafter and I'm going to use him as a hauler as well. Mining. His mining skill is quite decent. 
His construction skill is really, really good. Oh my god. Cool. So he'll he'll be he'll be building as well as soon as there's nothing to haul anymore. So is there a way to assign things to people? Not as it seems. Okay, we're going to need flooring here. So, well, limestone floor, mm, one day. For today, we're going to take a wooden floor and that's going to be another 100 wood. Yeah, well. Wait a sec. I want to harvest them, not cut them. Dang it. Just destroyed a part of our food, uh, replenishable food sources here. So we are only able to... Ah, now I know what I did wrong. I need to use the basket icon here. Then it will only harvest the ripe ones and don't kill the... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mistakes have been made. Settlers are exhausted. Then go to bed. I mean, it's not like we don't have beds. Like, seriously. And speaking about not having things. This room doesn't have flooring yet. It's really hard to, to see. But I think now I put it down correctly. Sometimes these hide, la hide layers are really, really, really confusing, but I think I get used to it. Okay, so the next thing I really want to do is to research agriculture. But that'll have to wait until I have done all the necessary things. So summer clothes and a cap or a straw hat. Dismantle items for cloth, I see. Nothing of this requires any tailoring skill, okay. Then let's uh, create ourselves a straw hat. It's as soon as I have the straw necessary for that, that is. But I'm pretty sure this uh, straw I'm talking about is already growing. Oh, Teothic has actually enough. Awesome. Fourthrit is plucking the berries. Ah, springtime. Okay, so we can't really expect right now to get to the point where Let's do four meals. Get to the point where I'm researching as of now. There's just too much stuff to be done. But at the same time, you know, it is at least for us a way of replenishing our food stocks now. And there's game which we can hunt. There's deers everywhere, so... This place is brimming with life and food, so I really don't don't think that I need to be that angsty here. Okay then. I want to do something sassy. I want to bring up a clay a clay staircase here. So that they can finally finish that piece of uh, roof there because that piece of roof is not done until this very day and it really annoys me to no end because they need to clear out that little shrub there you know there's one tiny shrub on top of that and that's why we weren't able to to finish that Okay, but our little settlement is now really civilized. 
I love the fact that you can follow these people. The only thing we're still not getting done is the cellar, I think. Yeah. Okay. We'll be getting there. Oh, now I can try out if, we, if this uh, is right what people said. Yes! This is a really, really cool trick. Thanks for the person mentioning that. Because this way you can see what kind of animals are roaming around on the map. Cool. So now, finally, this last piece of roof has been finished. And our little... Our little settlement here is now coming together. That's the thing I really love about this game too. The three-dimensional view and the height layers also make everything look so more, so much more realistic, even though it's just voxel graphics. I really like that. Okay, now... I'd say we'll assign fourth root now to a top priority research whenever he can he should research so Tiathic took this other room sassy flimsy white straw hat flimsy that doesn't sound like high quality Well, okay. Let's create ourselves some summer clothes. Let's see. Leather is eligible. Wonderful. Okay. We're making progress. It's now for me really important that I do manage to get the research done. So I'm pulling Forthrit's schedule a little bit different here. Why are you guys unhappy? Guess you're hungry, right? Desperately thirsty. Ugly apparel. Oh man. Alright, it's apparel. Gosh, I can learn it one day. So we're creating stew now out of these items, I see. So Forthred is just cooking until he has a certain stockpile and then he's researching. Wonderful. How's his intellectual skill by now? Eight. Well, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's see how much experience the crafting of one piece of summer clothing yields. Pretty curious about that one, to be honest. Also, I feel like stone table. Hmm. Where can we get those fancy stones people keep talking about? <laughs> so this looks like limestone. You know what? I want that. But first I need to... I need to tailor these things. And then I want to mine out the cellar first. I feel like that has that has priority right now. Okay, we do need a lot more chronicles as well, but that's what we're doing right now. Okay. Oh yeah, the first piece of clothing is almost done. Mm, can't wait. It's going to be flimsy, I bet. But I mean, his tailoring skill is really bad, but he has passion about it, so I want to know. 1,000 XP. Nice. So, are you really telling me that all the leather we gathered was just enough for one pe for one suite of clothing? Jeez. Okay, that comes unexpected, honestly. Oh, too bad. Really feeling bad for him now. Oh, fine short bow. Tia thick. What's your uh, your better marksman? Okay. I think it's uh, overall a fine idea to give the bow to that person who's not... Um, who's not as robust as the other guy. Fourth Red has a robust trade. 
So he ate raw food, religious needs fulfilled. So, rebellious, annoyed is below 30%, but I mean, he doesn't need to eat raw food now. I got 142 berries. My god. So, uh, Teothic and Fourthred are playing games together. Okay, now he's finally digging out the, the cellar. I was almost uh, manually assigning it because I felt like this is really the next thing we should do. But, you know. Overall, I feel like Teothic's schedule must be high on a higher priority for mining. Otherwise, it won't work. Right now, I just watched him mining out one piece of, of ground and then carrying the stuff because mining has a lower priority than hauling. And whenever there's something to haul, he's immediately like jumping and going for that. Alrighty, friends. So that's today's episode. I'd say we made a really, really huge progress. We are not alone anymore. We survived the winter. And this little settlement is coming together quite nicely. So drop me your comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up on that video if you liked it. It really, really helps a ton. And also, if you like my content in general, check out my channel. There's tons of videos like these. I do daily content. So just subscribe, turn on those notifications, and you won't miss a thing from my side. Also, feel free to check out the description below there. You'll find my Twitch channel there. I do daily streams, so maybe you want to come and check out. And last but not least, if you really want to help me out with a direct tip or recurring financial support, I'd be more than grateful. I do free content and therefore your help is more than welcome. But the best thing about that, you are helping a lot already by watching just these videos more than you might think. Okay, end of the advertisement block. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good time and see you soon. Bye-bye.